guys, A Count Kitchen Chef Jermaine here. Um, really just wants to switch things up a bit and give you some one-on-one -on -one dialogue. Um, just be careful not to talk to the screen if anybody is behind you. They may think it's a little, a little awkward. But feel free to hear me out. Today I want to talk to you guys about uh, the secrets of becoming or being an impromptu chef. So, what's an impromptu chef? An impromptu chef is what I like to classify as like that rubble in the kitchen, you know? Uh, most of the time, impromptu chefs don't really uh, favor rules and regulations in the kitchen. So, a recipe may be a little bit difficult because they may see that as like confinement to creativity. A lot of times, instead of looking at a recipe, an impromptu chef may look at the picture and say, hmm, orange sazon chicken. I know some oranges. I know some sazon. I know some chicken. And you may throw something completely together that is not even in that recipe. Um, a lot of things, they just take what's around. You know, whether it's alcohol or whether it's a part of a, a, a protein that you've never eaten before, they'll take that and turn it from zero to 100 real quick. Um, for example, for me, don't let me come across some cream liqueur or a sweet white wine or something because I just may make that a base from one of my sauces. Um, and, for example, I may look at my refrigerator and see Thai chilies. And then I may see chocolate. And I'm like, oh, Thai chili chocolate. A Thai chili chocolate sauce. And most of the times we like that to be representative of our personalities and our character. So I may see myself as like a smooth, creamy, spicy young brother. Um, and I want that to come across in my dish. Because I want, when people are eating my food, I want them to enjoy, you know, knowing a piece of me on that plate. And I think that goes for chefs across the board, regardless of if you're impromptu or whatever your style may be. But um, don't let sometimes, you know, recipes limit your creativity. Go above and beyond. See what you can do to put your own spin on something that may have happened already. Kind of like reinventing the wheel. Uh, we live in a visual culture where people like to learn visually. Uh, so go ahead and add some creativity to that and show them the differences between, you know, whether you use regular eggs, the brown eggs in the supermarket, or quail eggs. And show how that made a difference to your dish and how that elevated your eggs benedict. Um, so these are things I want to share with you guys, some secrets of being an impromptu chef. Jermaine right here. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in and supporting.